So today on my video blog, we're going to be unboxing the Radeon 5770. This is one of four DirectX 11 cards that ATI has launched, and we're actually going to show you the whole family shortly. We'll be unboxing the 5750 on my blog next, but not quite yet. And then I'm going to do a quick size comparison against the 5870, which is here, and the 5850, so you can get an idea of how these cards compare to each other. So uh, you can see that our box is a little bit beat up here, but we're going to find out just how good XFX's packaging is at protecting the card during transport should it get banged around a little bit okay so let's break the seal here get this open you can see the packaging is actually quite similar to xfx's other 5800 series cards so you got kind of a shoebox style package we're gonna just pull it open oh yeah i forgot about this this is included only with the 5770 not with the 50 card and not with the 5800 series cards but it is a copy of battleforge so you peel that off for the product key i won't be doing that today since someone will want this card at some point so here we've got a quick installation guide which is just your basics for how to install the card and it's uh, quite small and it shows you how to plug it into your power supply awesome here is the installation guide so this one covers your driver installation and that's about it so really you shouldn't be using this guide anyway you should be downloading the latest drivers off ati.com and that brings us to our driver installation cd ignore this download the latest drivers off ati.com now we've got i mean i think this thing's pretty cool do not disturb i'm gaming this seems to come with all of their gaming cards these days you got your little door hanger not that your mom's actually going to pay attention to that she's going to be like nope now it's time for dinner uh we have one molex to pci express connector so that tells us that there's probably only one power plug on this card. We've got a Crossfire bridge and a DVI to VGA adapter should you still require that at this point. And here we have the card itself. So you can see that even on the beat up corner of our box, which is right here, it hasn't even gotten close to the card. So there's no risk of any damage based on uh, what we've seen from XFX's packaging here. So let's get the anti-static bag out. And there is the card itself. So why don't we start, let's start with the connectors actually. So first of all, you've got two DVI connectors, one HDMI and one display port. So this is the same connector set as the 5800 series cards. That means you can plug in three monitors and use this card for iFinity. This is a PCI Express 16X card. And you can see we've got, again, the same fan that they're using on the higher end card. So you can expect it to be quite quiet because, and this is another thing you'll notice about it immediately, it only has one six pin power connector so this is a very low power consumption card compared to the top of the range gaming cards from the side you can see we've got a black with red trim sort of look with the ATI Radeon branding here and just like the 5850 the back is not covered by a black shroud and it just has a simple back plate and it also has RAM chips on the back unlike the higher end cards so you can actually see the RAM on the back should you desire that anyway I think that just about covers it thank you for checking out my blog on the XFX Radeon 5770.